It just comes to a point where you just like. You end up forgetting why you're doing it. I'm a great son. I know I'm a good son. I care for him so much and I want him to be happy. I'm trying to prove to the whole world that everything that comes out of my mouth is the truth. Yeah. My heart was racing and everything. I don't know if I got anxiety on that. I started crying. I didn't want to go back to all this stuff. Happy birthday, dear Fimo. Happy birthday to you. In August, after an idyllic vacation with his new bride, Teofimo Lopez boarded a flight from Greece. He was 14 and 0 on the cusp of a title shot, but boxing's most electrifying young fighter was also about to crack. Yeah, there's only so much you can handle. I just felt like it's just things were just piling up on me, man. He was barely 22, but carrying the weight of his father's demons. Teofimo Sr. was a teenage drug dealer back in the 80s. He was 14 when his father died of a heart attack, 17 when his mother took her life. I wanted to kill the whole world. I did a lot of bad things. I just, I never killed nobody, thank God. That anger and that rage that I still have inside of me is never gonna leave me. Under all that rage, though, was a sense of shame. Failure he'd redeemed through his youngest child, his only son, the boxing prodigy he'd steer to a title. Could anyone else have made him the fighter he is today? No. no. Nobody. Never. No. It, we have a mutual thing, like something is connected to us. In the other sense, like I, when he's fighting in there, I feel like I'm the one fighting in there with him. I see him with a belt with 15 fights. You know, and then I see him taking all the belts with 16 fights when we beat the out of Lomachenko. Yeah, he talks his and I back him up. Teofimo found someone to back him up in May 2018 on a plane bound for Las Vegas. A flight attendant, her name was Cynthia. At first, he was so conceited. He was all about him, you know, like the boxer. But little by little, I got to know him and he became my, my really good friend. He could bring me up. He could make me laugh. She gives me more of a purpose in life. Something to look forward to more than, than just boxing and being narcissistic. And I learned a lot. I grew a lot with her. She made me grow. Last April, they were married. Despite his family's objections over their still new relationship. His father came alone. His mother and sisters did not attend. And I'm like, you shouldn't be thinking like that. You should be thinking of you gaining a daughter less than losing a son. And it took a big toll out of me. It was only a matter of time before the mounting family tensions took their toll in the ring. That's not really his game. If you really look at that shot, right that's his Nakatani. game. He heard, him. he heard him right there. Lopez is hurt right now. Nakatani's best work of the night. It was an easy win. The title shot was now in sight. But without his usual knockout, the performance was considered a failure. What did you think of your performance tonight? Horrible. Horrible. I was so focused on what was going on outside, not the fans but things personally that do you up. Days later, the newlyweds left for Greece. It was a magical time, but for Teofimo, the return flight was filled with dread. I started crying. I didn't want to go back. I didn't want to go back to all this stuff. Yeah, there's only so much you can handle. But I just felt like it's just things were just piling up on me, man. But the anxiety remained. Cynthia urged him to get help. I kept pushing him to see like a therapist, to like, that he's not alone. Anybody that does therapy ain't good mentally, just you kind of like, oh, you, screw, you saw where you screwed up, you know? But I was just like, yeah, I'm screwed up, I'll go. It's easy just to like ignore him. 
that when you actually have to like acknowledge them and acknowledge the pain, that's the hard part. I'm still trying to figure out myself through all of this, you know, so still finding myself, you know, and I think that's, I think that's with everything in life, you just try to find and get to know yourself better. Thinking about boxing, that stress, that pressure, winning that belt, it, it ain't even about, I know I'm a champion, I'm gonna be real with you, I already know I'm a champion, I don't need a belt to tell me I'm a champion, I'm a world champion as a husband, I'm a world champion as a son. I'm a world champion as a brother. I'm a world champion in life, man.